gin joints in all the towns in all the world. She walks into mine. Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Jose, also known as Repugnant Man, and today we're going to be doing a quick little review on the movie, the classic movie, Casablanca. Now, I'm sure you've heard of this movie before, but I just watched it today for the very first time, so I want to talk about it and do a quick review. Let's do this. So really quickly, we're going to go over the plot. The plot is about this smooth cat, this cool guy. His name is Rick. He owns a saloon in Casablanca, Morocco. Now this movie takes place during World War II, sort of like the beginning of World War II. And uh, this saloon is the main place where refugees go. Um, they're looking for visas and they're trying to get safe passage to America. So Rick is, you know, the owner of the saloon. He's kind of in the middle of it all, never takes a side. And the story gets really spicy when Rick's long lost lover comes to Casablanca with her husband seeking refuge. And that's really all you need to know. All right, y'all, let's talk about the positives of this amazing movie. First of all, the time period plays a big role in this movie because the movie was made at, at the beginning of World War II and that's when it takes place. And it kind of transcends the power of just being a movie because it means a lot to people. I, I imagine it means a lot to people uh, who have family who fought in the war, people who actually fought in the war. This movie must have brought hope to a lot of people and that's definitely a positive. All right, y'all, another positive of this movie is that the cast is just amazing. And the first cast member that I want to talk about is Ilsa. This is played by Ingrid Bergman. Um, she just radiates elegance every time she's on the screen. She radiates this beauty, and it's kind of inexplicable, like the way that old Hollywood was. They just, um, the way that women are pro portrayed, they're just um, very elegant. And um, I really enjoyed her character. There is this scene where she... Um, asks Sam, the musician of the Casablanca Saloon, to play a song for her. And just that whole scene was amazing. You gotta check it out. Now the next person, cast member I want to talk about is Humphrey Bogart as Rick. Coolest cat in town. This guy's an absolute gangster. And he, he owns this saloon and he just demands respect from everybody. You know, whether you're German, French, doesn't matter from where. You know, he kind of takes this isolationist approach initially and um, he's just really cool. Next, I want to talk about Laszlo. His character was awesome too. He's uh, Ilsa's husband, and he's just the noblest of dudes. You know, he's uh, you're rooting for Rick and Elsa and uh, Ilsa to get back together, but Laszlo's so cool, it's hard to hate him. You know what I mean? He's so noble, and um, even though you want them to get back together, you start to root for this guy, Laszlo, too, because he's just a cool cat. And then lastly, the last cast member that I want to talk about is Sam. He's played by Dooley Wilson. He's a musician of the saloon. And I think his relationship with Rick um, was really admirable. Uh, he's just such a lovable character, and his singing in this movie is really tied to the history that, that Rick and Ilsa have. And I think uh, it really elevates the movie. Uh, the next positive I want to talk about is the movie is funny. I find myself laughing a whole lot. Another positive is the movie is really quotable. One of my favorite ones is uh, Rick often says to, to, to you know, Elsa, he's always like, uh, here's to looking at you, kid. And there's a bunch of other, you know, silly little quotes like that that are just, uh, they're just really uh, suave. Um, and then the last positive that I want to talk about is just a really bittersweet ending. Ending is really well done. Um, the movie is fantastic um, yeah that's the positives negatives y'all there wasn't really many negatives at all the only thing i can say is maybe that the audio was really low maybe it could be a, a factor of how movies were made back then it could be a factor of my tv or my ps4 um, it wasn't that big a deal i just turned up the volume and it was fine um, my cousin pointed out that the ending was a bit unrealistic he said the Germans should have been more prepared, so maybe that could be a nitpick if you think that that's a negative, but it truly is a great movie. Um, overall score, I love this movie. I'm so glad I watched it. Um, I recommend you guys either go to your local library and rent it out. Um, you can ask your librarian to purchase it for you, or you can uh, just ask them to place a hold on it and you can get it um, delivered there from another library, or just flat out buy it. So let me know what you guys think down below, guys. Um, what movie should I do next? You know, and, and what did you think of uh, Casablanca? Comment down below. And uh, you know, I'm currently reading The Godfather. I'm gonna watch it for the 50th anniversary in uh, in theaters. I'm so pumped for that. So you know, like and sub if you enjoy this sort of content. Don't forget to comment and uh, check out some of the other reviews. I'm gonna link at the end of this video. And have a great evening. Bye bye.